Welcome everyone to my first video here on YouTube. I'm going to be playing three matches of standard Pokemon TCG with this Lapras list you see right in front of you right now. I think Lap Lapras is very solid in standard right now. Um, you know, it hits 190 damage with the Choice Band to knock out Buzzwolves, and uh, Volcanion gives some chip damage on the bench to knock out uh, Pokemon such as uh, Zoroark, uh, possibly some Zygarde's, ones with higher HP up to 210. You can easily one-shot with Lapras plus Volcanion if you have that engine going. But I'll go ahead and start with the deck tech now. We have two Tapu Lele for support, being able to search up a supporter whenever we may need it. Whichever one we may need is great in all situations of the game. We have our main attacker, which is Lapras. Uh, the attack collect for one water energy is very strong if our opponent gets to play first we get to draw three cards first which is great as well as the fact that you know with a good draw you can definitely attack on turn one with the blizzard burn if, if everything goes your way we have two manaphy ex uh, for the free retreat with all pokemon that have a water energy attached to them um, never really attack with mineral pump don't think that's very relevant we have a two emeraid two octillery for draw support because being able to draw up to five cards a turn is fantastic. We have one Volcanium Prism Star, which is a decent non-EX attacker because there's a few of the protection from EX, GXs rolling around, as well as being able to knock out small Pokemon on the bench, and like I said, put some chip damage on the bench for Lapras's attack with the Choice Man. We have four Aqua Patch, uh, really is the best card in the deck in my opinion, really uh, allows for some explosive starts as well as a lot of consistency. We have two energy switch, which helps enable um, switching back and forth. Uh, if you were to get Guzma or Lysander, well, Guzma, um, uh, being able to put an ener energy on your active retreat into a Lapras and then switch it over to a Lapras is pretty good. Um, we have one field blower as a way to get rid of any pesky items that may be in our way. Four Max Elixir to really get those explosive starts. We have four Ultra Ball to find the Pokemon that we may need in any situation. Three Brooklet Hill again to find Pokemon such as Manaphy Lapras and Remoraid Volcanion. Uh, we have three Cynthia for draw support. Four Guzma for switching control. We have two N for some draw support and some late game opponent hand screw ups. We have four Professor Sycamore, uh, best drawing card in the game, and then we have four Choice Bands to make sure that we're doing 190, uh, max out that damage as much as possible, and we round out the deck with 13 Water Energy. Alright, let's go ahead and knock out those three matches, shall we? Switch to Standard, Lapras, and we'll find the pump. Here we go. Alright. Username 01, playing Psychic Dragon, probably Ultra Necrozma, or I'm not, not Psychic Dragon, Steel Dragon, or Steel Psychic, ugh, Steel Psychic, um, probably Ultra Necrozma, so they're gonna get set up, we got a, <laughs> a great hand if we would have had a Lapras, or had any basic to start, man, this hand is great, Ultra Ball away those two energies, Find whatever we need. That that's that's amazing. <laughs> if one of if if this Ultra Ball would have been a Pokemon, or if I don't know, it was great. If the Energy Switch would have been a Pokemon, that'd be ideal. Yeah, pretty good hand. I'm going to start with let's start with Volcanion. Yeah, start with Volcanion. Put this on the bench. Put this on the bench, put this on the bench, and we will be done. Two mulligans. Got to, yeah. It's rough. We, we have quite a bit of basics in this in this deck, I feel like, but that's how it happens sometimes. So, our opponent equips up a psychic energy. I'm assuming they have plenty to do. There you go, yeah. Find the Pokemon they need. They have plenty to do because... They have a huge hand. <clears throat> a top and their hand must not be that great. 
Oh wow. Or they just want to get the supporter first. I don't know. Usually if my hand's great, I'll play everything out and then go get the supporter. But we'll see. See what they've got. Wonder what supporter they're gonna get. Probably uh, Cynthia or Professor Sycamore. Alright. Taking their time today. Taking their time. That's okay. Maybe what they were looking for is prized. Yeah, there's a Cynthia, like I thought. Okay, Cynthia. Yeah, their hand must not have been very good. <laughs> it's crazy. There's a Mew. Oh wow, okay. That's pretty good. Let's max elixir. Oh, we hit. Fantastic. Let's pray for a few. I don't know. Need to. Alright, I'm not off to a very good start either. We need to find a draw supporter ASAP. Here's Malamar getting ready to psychic energy up that bench. Do they even have any energies in there? No, good. Okay. Alright, an Ultra Ball is a good draw. A. I mean, not a lot of good draws. Draw Supporter, Ultra Ball, Tapu Lele, anything to get us out of this little predicament that we find ourselves in. Because if I can draw some cards, I can potentially get this knockout on this Ultra Necrozma, which would be great. Another Inkay. Huh. I wonder why they're not trying to find uh, Ultra Necrozma. Maybe they're... I mean, I thought I saw steel type in there. Recharge. So they're getting that up. Does this mew have no retreat cost? Oh. No, it doesn't. Wow, that's really good. Oh, Professor Sycamore. Perfect. I'm not gonna search. I don't need anything right now, really. Ultra Ball away. Ultra Ball and N. And we'll get ourselves an artillery. And let's start drawing some cards. Oops, that's not the right Pokemon that evolves from. <laughs> Missile Hand, pull me three. Aqua Patch, not bad. Alright, this isn't great. But it could be worse, so we're just gonna bide our time. We don't really need Volcanion in this matchup. Chances are they don't really have any um, any uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like protection from GX EX guys. Normally only see. Uh... Okay, well there goes our choice bands in our book of hell. Not two choice bands. All right, well that sucks, but. Opponent doesn't look like they're doing much right now. Anyway, and with the Guzmans in hand, if we draw an energy, we get potential knockout. There's the Ultra Necrozma. I knew it was coming. I don't think there's anything for them to do. I don't think they have any. Oh, they have one psychic energy they can recharge up. They so desire. Hmm. See what they're gonna do. Taking their time. That's that's good. Okay. Uh, so they're gonna invasion. Then put the psychic energy on that. And retreat out, of course. And they're gonna hit for one. Was it 160 or 180? Oh, just 80. 
So, it's not bad. Oh, 100. Oh, is it plus 80? Yeah, plus 80. My mistake. Guzma. Up this. I want to put the Lapras down to be able to draw an extra card. Oh, we hit the energy. Perfection. Don't think they're gonna be able to knock us out. Oh, good hit. And yeah, I'll just take my two prizes. Get rid of their switch initiative, kind of. All right, water energy max elixir, not bad. Not bad. Put one after the Ultra Necrozma. Might have been better. Uh, they can put two energy. If they have one in their hand, they can knock out my Lapras. If they have a Psychic Energy in their hand, they can knock out my Lapras. But. Don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe they have a Float Stone. And a Psychic Energy. That's pretty specific. Fortunately. Um, what is this, 20 times active energy? So I can def I'm definitely going after this. I need to not let it. Okay, so he's going to take take away my man. That's okay. I am 100% okay with that. I have more. And also, that got rid of my switching problem. Anyway, my attacking problem, anyway. Let's... Um... No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do this. We hit. Fantastic. You know what? I will do it. Um... Just to get that extra draw, and if they bring this up, then I don't have to use a Guzma on it. Um, if they bring up a Malamar, I might take it out. We'll see what they do. It kind of puts them in a tricky spot. Okay, they do bring up a Malamar. I also wanted to get this out of my hand. And we'll draw some cards. More Aqua Patches. Hmm, what do we want to do? I think I will just Guzma up this. Bucket Hill. Oh, we do not have another Manaphy right now. That's okay. Aqua Patches make that better. Oh, yeah, both are in our graveyard. Our discard pile. Okay. I only need to take one more knockout anyway. So. I can find. Uh, well, no matter what they do, I can find uh, Tapu Lele to get a Guzma. So, my plan right now is to use Volcanion, force out the Tapu Lele, force them to bring something else up. Then. Um. Use uh, use a Guzma and do the same thing I just did that turn. Use a Guzma, bring up my Lapras with two energy, retreat into this Lapras, knock out. And if they do knock out this Lapras, I can equip up an energy to my other Lapras. Um, I can uh, dig for Floatstone, or not a Floatstone, a Choice Band. I'm sorry, Choice Band. You know, there's only one left in the deck. They have to be able to retreat this type of Lele, which 
I don't think it's gonna happen. Let's see what they do. Alright, opponent. Time to make him. Okay, Guzma. They are gonna knock something out. But that just loses them to. Oh, okay. So now I just need to Ultra Ball for Tapu Lele and the Guzma. Which two Guzmas? Chances are one's left in the deck. And a Tapu Lele as well. And a Guzma. All right, good game, opponent. Closer than it needed to be. And let's go for the Blizzard Burn. Oh, not gonna let me finish it. <laughs> Only 35 minutes left in this today. Mystery box. Alright. Move on to the next round here. Very close to getting myself some Forbidden Light packs. Hopefully we find an opponent quickly. There we are. Alright, Kelbo Gorods. Nice Pikachu coin. Ho oh, oh, Shining Legends box and sleeves. Alright, this is a very good hand. Very good, very good. And since they are going first, I will dump everything just in case they need to end me for any reason. Alright, little Mew. Little Mew action going on here. I would love to get a turn one knockout with Lapras. That would be great. And it is very possible. Because I have... Mm, this is a high chance of hitting. So I have uh, basically two energy in my hand. So if I can find... You know what? I'll probably just max Elixir Professor Sycamore to give my chance to find the Aqua Patch and an energy. Which is uh, very likely. Yep, we're playing against the same deck here. Dawn Wing, that's the promo, that's the tin one, right? Yes. Oh, a Max Elixir. Huh. I don't think you normally see that in those lists, but I'm not 100%. But if we can, I would love to be able to knock that out. So I will definitely force up that if possible. I can find like another max elixir. Oh boy. Oh boy. Busted. Well, I still have to be able to retreat this Lapras. Oh no, I don't because I have Guzma. So if I can find max elixir, oh man. Okay, and that's why we played all the cards out. <laughs> so we're gaining two cards, which is which is very nice. Okay, we have our free retreat now. Certainly not complaining. Right, what else does our opponent have for us? Another NK? 60? Oh, regular Necro. Okay, so this must be just Necrozma. Necrozma's pretty good against me. I need to take care of that threat. How many Psychic energy do you have? One. Okay. Can't evolve. Done. Perfect. Max Elixir. There. Crooked Hill. We are taking Tapu Lele out of the equation for now, but that's okay. We will draw some cards. So 
hope for some max elixirs. Aqua patches. Well, let's see what you've got here. Okay, let's aqua patch. And we'll just draw three cards. Okay, Ooh, choice band is very good, energy switch is very good. So, unfortunately, we cannot get a Guzma right now, but that's okay. I'm probably just gonna equip up the active Lapras because I can't get a Guzma and force him to switch. Force him to switch because I'll let him have an Inke, but. Field Blower. Oh, okay, that's not bad. I'm not upset about that. Not one bit. Okay, that does what? 180? Yes, 180. Oh, please stay up there. Please attack this. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Wow, I think that was a huge, huge misplay on my opponent's part. 100%. Let's just get this down. Wow, okay. Um, am I going to Sycamore this hand? I think I am. Field blower right now. Aqua patch is good. Energy switch is good. I'm gonna start powering up this other Lapras. And let's take two prizes. Alright. So, if he decides to put damage on everything, I mean. It's not the worst plan I've ever seen. Um, with the. The GX attack, it does get them two prizes. Okay, sorry, my cat scared me. Nibbling. <laughs> oh, alright. Um, I'm definitely just gonna try to Guzma up that regular and across. This is the biggest threat to me right now because that Black Ray GX is a scary attack. Fortunately, it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to do that right now. So that's a positive. I'm just going to retreat, then Guzma. And probably Ultra Ball away some stuff to uh, get to Artillery. Not sure what I'll Ultra Ball away yet. We'll see what I draw. Max Elixir, Max Elixir. Wow. Okay, um, I still don't think they're going to be able to switch, the oh no, the Mew has free retreat, I always forget that. Let's see if they decide to Black Ray GX or if they decide to, yes, that's exactly what they're going to do. So, I definitely need to start hooking up this other Lapras because, uh, I'm about to, well, knock out that Lapras, that's actually okay to clear up some bench space, because I'm up in the... Oh, prismatic. Bro. Oh, oh, my mistake. Oh. Okay, not too upset with that actually. Switch. Draw two. I'm, I'm gonna keep this choice band safe just in case. Um, I have the Guzma in my hand. Do I want the. Yeah, 
I'm gonna broke it down. Okay, I don't have a lap percent. Alright, it's priced. So I will just hold on to this for now. And uh Blizzard Burn. Take two. We should have this game all but locked up right now. Gonna bring up the new, and we have the Guzma to sort of bring up whatever they may be trying to hide. Um, they can definitely. Oh, the choice band just knocks that out. So I need to hit on that max elixir. I need to hit on that max elixir if he's knocking out this moon. I need to find out how many aqua patches do I have left. One, potentially? After this one, of course. Oh, is he, why is he powering that up? Alright, I guess he knocks it out either way. Um, hmm. okay. This is just like a mono psychic type deck. Pretty cool. Like it. Black red. Oh, that doesn't knock out my main lappers though. Why would you? You just. Huh. I don't know if he thought it would put the extra damage counters on there. So, we'll just use my up this right here. And uh, retreat out. I think he was. Uh... I think he was counting on me not having it. Not having anything, but we got there, luckily. All right. So that's match two done, and we will. We got some packs to open here at the end of the video, and we'll play one more. Yay! Two forbidden light. All right. Okay. One more. Here we go. Oh, very quick matchmaking process. I'm on a five win streak. Wow, <laughs> pretty good. Oh, I I, I want this coin. I that coin. I wonder what that's what that, what from. I wonder if he's playing Glaceon. Hmm. Energy switch is is nice to see. Oh, not without an energy. Yeah, so maybe I'll draw an energy, that'd be nice. Get up. <laughs> I think he's complimenting on my sleeves there. It only seems to be Glaceon. Glaceon, Zoroark, because why not play Zoroark, right? Everybody's playing Zoroark and everything. Nowadays. <laughs> Ah yes, please on What do you even do? As long as it's your active Pokemon, uh have no abilities except for free and big. Huh. That's interesting. It's pretty good. Kinda shuts off the off the lilies. But that's okay. Luckily, I don't see that being his active this turn because well I don't I don't think I'm planning on uh Tapu Lele anyway, but I would like to be able to free retreat. That's nice. Let's see on. Ready to go. Uh, frost bullet. Damage done. Huh. That's pretty good. Aqua patch. That's not. That's not what I like. Not good to have it in hand. Beautiful Lapras is. Uh, time for just a sycamore here. Let's get a really good hand. Got the energy switch. That's not awful. We get to uh, collect, which is nice. Let's collect. It could have been a lot better, but it could have been worse. 
we do have the Guzmas. So the, how much HP does this have? 200. Okay. 210 there. So I'm not going to be able to one-hit those. Which is unfortunate. But... See what they've got for us. I would definitely like to retreat, put an energy Guzma up that Glaceon. That's oh man, that's. Uh, I mean, our hand wasn't great anyway, so I'm not too upset about that. If we can get some, there we go. Max Elixir is what we want to see. That's what we want to see. how they respond to a jet geyser. What are you gonna put up? Buddy. Where the abilities. I'm just gonna equip up the volcano. I probably should have got a Lapras, that's my bad. <laughs> that's okay though. Volcano, that gives me that chip damage on the bench that I may want. definitely need to attack with Volcanion just to get that chip damage on all of them so I can knock them all out with one Lapras attack, that is. So, potentially take a knockout this turn. Um, maybe not, but that chip damage is super, super, super key in. Oh, darn. Um, that chip damage is super key if we're going to be able to. 
knock out things like Zoroark and Lucian in one hit. So unfortunately, I might just have to trade a Lapras for Zoroark, which I don't really like, but it just depends. There we go, Choice Man and Lapras, that's good. We wanted that Choice Man for sure. Because next turn, we can just very easily knock out that Glaceon. We do need to find some more energies. <laughs> we do need to find some more energies for sure. I may just sycamore this hand away. Oh, well, there goes Lapras. <laughs> there goes Lapras. That's rough. That's really rough. Oh, artillery. That's really rough. That's good for our opponent. That's that's good. What is here? Put down a lapis. Put down a rim raid. Let's just draw cards. We need to find can keep this Lapras safe ish we can knock out these Galatians. I need to get that Zorark with no energy up and this no no ability thing is actually kind of killing me this is a good this is a good deck I, li I like this deck I might try this out style <laughs> water but you can see how key um, Volcanian getting those that chip damage and I get a one hit KO on everything except for that powered up that other powered up Glaceon but I still have my GX attack for that it works of course so, but you, you can really see how key Volcanian getting that chip damage on those 200 and 210 HP GXs is. Because without it, we would, I mean, we would just be, we would just lose 100%. Going after the Mammoth. Okay. Okie dokie then. We'll bring this bad boy up. Aqua patch, not bad. We'll patch that up. We will. I think we're just gonna boop, boop. What we have left? 
Okay, we'll just get that out of our deck. Because I don't think there's anything in Only 10 cards. Let's draw them. Floatstone may matter. Okay. Let's see. Choice bands. We have one in the discard pile. One right there. So we might have two prized. We'll have to see. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of these to see if we have a ch we have oh, both choice bands are in the deck. So I think we only have two cards left. Three cards. We have a 66% chance of drawing it. Okay, what are you gonna have for a Zoroark, which you can retreat into that other Glaceon, but if he does, okay, he's gonna Guzma, oh no, he had the Guzma, well, that was a close one, if he didn't have that Guzma right there, we won, but, well played to our opponent, and unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes, so, I have enough for one pack, let's, let's go ahead and get one Guardian's Rising pack, Hello there. Oops. Just for those Tapu Lele chances, of course. So let's start with the Forbidden Light. Let's see what we get. See what we get. Come on, something good. Xerneas Jets. Let's get another ultra rare. Reverse rare. Garchomp, cool. And Infernape. Oh wow. I like that. I like that ability. And let's just open a Tabu Lele, of course, right? We're just about to open a rainbow, beautiful Tabu Lele right now. Of course we are. We all know it. <laughs> well, I uh, appreciate you all coming to watch my video, and uh, please leave a comment down below, let me know what I did right, let me know what I did wrong, and let me know what decks you want to see in the future, because I'm always open to playing every deck that I can play. And uh, if you have any lists, that's also great to leave in the description, and I hope you have a great night. Thanks for watching.